For BamaCentral.com, my name is Clay Miller, and this is The Extra Point. Today, I'm joined by Katie Windham to discuss Alabama basketball and their offseason moves. Uh, even though the season just ended, we've already seen a lot of activity, especially in the transfer portal, and that's where we're going to start today, talking about some of the players that have been leaving. Jason Holt just announced that he will be leaving Alabama. So, Katie, what do you think of the players that have left? Why have they left? And could we see more movement from, from players that have been on the roster? Yeah, it's like you said, it's been a busy offseason and we're going to continue to see action in the transfer portal um, with players leaving and players coming into Alabama. But like you mentioned, Jason Holt, Keon Ambrose Hilton and Alex Chiku have all uh, scholarship players that have entered the portal. None of those are really a surprise to anyone that followed the team closely this year. Um, Holt played the most minutes out of any of the three of those guys. I think Chiku only played three games. Uh, Keon Ambrose Hilton got some time his freshman year and played some a little bit early in this season, but once the rotation was kind of figured out, he was not part of that rotation. And um, the only other time he saw action was on senior night, kind of in uh, garbage time after Alabama had a big lead. So um, none of these players entering the portal are, are a big surprise for Alabama. Um, I would say that it's not at this point, it's possibly not completely done with the players that could leave. Um, if you go kind of read what I wrote about um, the roster heading into next season, there's still a possibility guys like Juwan Gary or Darius Miles could leave or they could choose to come back. But either way, um, with the guys that have left and some guys that still have some pro decisions to make, there will be more guys that Nate Oates and his staff are looking to in the portal to come into Tuscaloosa. Certainly. But on the other end of the spectrum, you have players are looking to try to bring in. And Alabama has been active in recent years under Nate Oates with that. They obviously, they're losing a lot of veteran experience, so maybe trying to bring some of that in. Who are some guys they're looking at, or what do they need to bring in in the transfer portal? Yeah, that's one of the nice things about the portals. You can bring in guys that already have a little bit of experience, especially, like you said, on a roster that's losing a lot. Um, Jalen Llewellyn, a guard from Princeton, was on campus this past weekend. Um, you know, there was some information that got out about that, so obviously he's a guy that they're looking at. Um, and then also Mark Sears, a guy who's from Alabama, um, is from Muscle Shoals, um, but has played at Ohio. He's a guard that entered the transfer portal. And, um, you know, one of his AAU coaches that also worked with J.D. Davis and some was kind of the first to break that. And so he has a lot of connections to Alabama. A lot of people close to the program think um, he's someone that Alabama is considering seriously. He's someone that's considering Alabama seriously. So those are just two kind of names to watch. But like I said, um, as more players potentially enter the portal and go pro, there will be even more names um, that Alabama will be looking at in the weeks to come and more guys making visits. Yeah, and with, you know, kind of the season they had and the players leaving, there's going to be a lot of activity, whether that be from recruiting or in the transfer portal this offseason. So be looking for that. Thank you so much for joining me today, Katie. Appreciate your time. Once again, for BamaCentral.com, my name is Clay Miller, and this has been The Extra Point.